In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to run some of the air raid concepts out of the five wide in Madden 21. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden player that they can become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit the follow or the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do that, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we have here for you on the channel. Now in this video, we are talking specifically about the air raid, okay? So this is a con these are concepts that you can use if you like to run the air raid offense. And so uh, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the play post wheel. Um, this is out of the empty trace stack, which can be found in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. There's some other playbooks as well, but from what I've seen, the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook has the best um, combination of routes and everything that you can get. So we're going to be using uh, post wheel and what we're going to be doing is showing you the mesh post concept out of this and uh, it's a lot of fun to run this concept. So uh, what you want to do with this real quick is you as a general rule you want to have your uh, your three wide receivers to the wide side of the field. Now I want to give you a quick um, like if you are using a hot route master in mutt. I've been running this in mutt and in weekend league and been having a lot of fun. So basically what we want to do with this is if you do if you do have a hot route master, then you want to put the uh, square receiver here on a corner route, okay? You, either one of these two. One of these two guys goes on a corner route if you have hot route master. If you don't, I like to leave the curl personally just because it's more of a zone, um, more of a zone kind of thing because it's a short side uh, curl, which you guys know I love short side curls against zone coverage. So, all that to say, um, there's really not too much you need to do. The biggest thing that I like to do on this play, really simple, I'm going to put, uh, sir, I'm going to smart route the circle receiver. You see it's going to make him go a little bit shorter. And then you can do a couple things. Um, the first thing is you can take this wheel route, and you can leave this wheel route on the field. Um, it is really, really good for match coverage. If you're getting a lot of match coverage concepts, this that wheel route is really good because it's going to pull pull people out of the way for you but if you're getting a lot of zone drops and stuff the wheel route is it's not the greatest route um so anyway let me just show you the play first and you really don't have to do any adjustments but i do want to show this to you one of my favorite things about this is robert tunyon and the reason i like i like robert tunyon so much is because he is going to force the user um he is going to naturally curl up now against man that means he's not going to keep running but he is going to naturally curl up against zone. So why I like that is because if you get this look right here, which is the most popular way that people will defend this, this offense, you're going to get this. And you're going to see here that X is going to sit in between both yellow zones, wide open for about 10, or I think he's about 7 to 10 yards. Okay? So he's going to be, he's going to be basically, you know, quote unquote, setting the mesh, so to speak, um, within this play. Now, the other thing that I like about this, though, and I want to show you this real quick. I just want you to watch the wheel route, um, the relationship between the wheel route and the drag. So if you watch this wheel route, you're going to see the wheel route's going to run stuff off. But the problem is, as you see, the drag's not, the drag is not at a point where, like, the, what we want to see happen is we want that seam flat to match the wheel route. But unfortunately, it just doesn't do that this year. Um, and you're, if, if they're putting their zone drops on, these are with zone drops on, I'm using just kind of standard... Uh, 30 10 and 10 zone drops now curl flats as you can see are different if they use a curl flat the wheel route will the 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 zone will clear out for a curl flat so let me show you that real quick whoops so again you're going to get a look like this basically so if you look at this i've got seam flats here now i'm going to put curl flats okay so i put curl flats out there as you can see so if you watch this uh just watch the linebacker here that's over the top of the tight end Watch what happens to him. You're going to see that late in this play, he's going to go up. And then now I've got, and I don't know what's going on with Rodgers, but I can throw that drag route and there's nobody there. There's nobody there, which I think is actually really cool. Um, the problem is if they use a seam flat, the seam flat won't get dumbed out. So that's just something to be aware of. Um, you know, and you can, you, you can really... I don't know. I mean, I probably would keep the wheel just because of that, just because in the event... That, that happens but i want to give you two other options so here just that's what i'm talking about as you see and then i'm just going up field for you know 10 to 15 yards on a route that really shouldn't have even been open in the first place okay so um but i want to show you what to do if they're using seam flats this is what i like to do so if you're getting a lot of seam flat coverage 
And real quick, I forgot to say this in the beginning of the video. We actually are breaking down the, the, the entire trade stack offense, the five wide, in our true fan membership. I actually have a 45 minute introduction video that goes over how to beat the blitz. We're going to be adding to that every week uh, until Madden 22 comes out. So if you want to get access to that, the true fan membership is super cheap. It's five bucks a month and you get everything. You get uh, offensive, offensive videos, defensive videos, and pro player breakdowns. There's a link in the description if you want to get it. It has all of the stuff that you need to run this. But anyways, back to um, back to the, the tip here. So the other thing that I really like about this, though, is what we can do um, is we can leverage the power of motion snapping. Trey Stack is – this is one of my favorite things about Trey Stack. So most formations, if I'm going to motion somebody, he's going to go all the way to the other side of the formation. With Trey Stack – he allows me to do really good motion snaps against man coverage. So what I can do is take R1, put him on a drag. I'm still smart around the post. But now I can motion him in and kind of snap him just before he sets. And look at how it gets underneath every single thing. And what I like about that route is, and this is something that is very special to five wide. I have not been able to do this out of spread. This has made me fall in love with five wide this year. Um, towards the, and of course maybe even a little bit too late because it's toward the end of the year and we'll see if this stays with us in Madden 22. I think it will. Um, but basically when you have this curl, because the curl is, um, it's not it's not like, um, because the curl is not outside, meaning the curl is not, like if I were to put this guy, if I, if I were to put the curl right here, um, I, I, number one, I couldn't motion about us scaling across, but number two, um, this seam flat, that's playing the curl, which is this left linebacker right here, is gonna go flow to the outside more. When I bring the curl into compression, and I use this little ghost motion right here, you're gonna see that that seam flat will never, ever, ever play this drag route. Awesome, awesome, awesome in my opinion. And what happens is, when the defense is running this vertical, or not vertical, but this Mabel concept, you're gonna, their user has to sit in the middle of the field. He has to sit in the middle of the field. Emphasis on the word has to. Watch X. You see there? Look how open X is. If their user does not intentionally sit on that route, it's a dot every time. It's a dot every time. Okay? So this is where you can combine some really, really, really good underneath passing principles, in my opinion, because what you're getting is because you're pulling these seam flaps basically inside, um, and the same is true over here. If you look, I can get that route outside, and bam, I've got a dot. Okay, so now let's say your opponent, let's just say, you know, maybe the best defense um, is to put the the seam flat to the right and the curl flat to the left on a cover three Mabel shell, um, which I don't think it is. But because again, now what you're going to get is this these curls. I think do such a good job sitting in the zone. Same kind of thing. You're still dotting this for about seven to ten yards every time. Um, now, what if you get a man look? We haven't spent too much time talking about man. I want to say one last quick word about zone, and then we'll shift to man coverage. The, the thing I want to say is if their user sits underneath, the spacing on five wide is really the whole purpose for, the, for calling this offense. But what you're going to see is a circle receiver um, is going to come down and get underneath, get underneath the deep blue. Um, I recommend smart routing the route. But you don't necessarily have to. I'm going to run it unsmart routed. And the reason why I would say you don't necessarily have to is if their user is really climbing down here, you want to give yourself enough space to be able to throw this right in front. But as you can see, it is a tight throw. And if they have 90 plus zone, they might jump on it. So make sure, you know, just kind of test out both. But I would say right off rip, just smart route the route and you'll be good. Again, you have to understand it is very likely their user is going to be over here. Based on the way most people play defense in Madden 21, it is very likely that their user is going to be over there, which is why I love running the post route from the opposite side, because there's too much space. There's too much space for their user to have to cover, and he's going to have to sit in spots that he's not comfortable doing. So that's why I like this concept. Now let's talk about this as it pertains to man coverage. Uh, first things first, most people, if, they're run, if you're playing somebody that's good in 3-3-5 wide, you're not going to see press man. Uh, I'm just telling you, it, it, it's crazy for them to run press man on this formation. Like, absolutely crazy. If they run press man on this formation, it's simple. R1's open every time. R1 is open every single time against press man because he's a motion snap. 
okay? Not only is it motion snap, but he can't get pressed. Uh, he also can't get pressed. So you've got an easy read against man coverage. Now let's just say they let's just say they user him, okay? Let's just say for sake of argument that they you know what they user um, they user R one. Well now look your your curl is wide open, okay? And if you know it's man coverage, okay, this is really important. If you know it is man coverage, meaning you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it is man to man, or they're giving you a man to man read, then all you have to do is take square and just simply put him on a fade. And what you're gonna see is the man coverage will glitch out. And as you can see, you're able to torch it. So if you're getting a problem with press man, that's a really easy way to deal with it. Um, another really easy way to deal with man coverage is to take that square receiver and put him on a smart routed out route. The reason I like a smart routed out route is because if they're not pressing you, this is a great little read for you to be able to get open. Okay, so those are several ways to beat man from those routes. The other thing that I want to go over, so once you get them to have to shade up, or they basically, because you're going to get them to a point where they can't press you, everything becomes open then. Now that they can't press, this drag to triangle is, a simple, is super, super simple. It's open every time. The other reason why I love this is because if they, let's say they go to something like this. This is very popular. Um, they do something like that right there, okay? That's, that's probably where they're going to head. Honestly, that's probably where they're going to head. So um, anyway, so you put your con your concepts out there. When they don't press you, this this curl route to X is super good. Uh, if they do press you, I don't normally throw it because it's in the middle of the field, but they can't press X also. See how they can't press him? So if they're running like a, a standard press man play, they can't really press him. You can throw that on the cut, but again... I wouldn't throw that just because of the timing. You've got two drags coming over the middle right at the same time. I just wouldn't throw it. I'd sit on it. You might wait on it a little bit. Um, and if you wait on it, let me just show you. So if you wait on that route with X, so I'm waiting, and then now I throw it. See how he can come underneath him? So I, I would only do it if it's clearly he's got inside positioning. If he doesn't have inside positioning, just move on to your next read. It's just easier that way. Um, you're not going to throw as many picks. So, you know, what's going to happen, though, is their user, once again, we put their user in a lot of conflict, and their user has to make a choice. Am I going to take away the drags, or am I going to take away this skinny post route? Now, give me some slack here. Alexander is on Lazard, so Alexander's obviously going to win that, and Mutt, that's going to be C.D. Lamb. Um, that's going to be a dot, okay? Now, let me show it to you one more time. You will see, he will occasionally beat him. Um, now that Alexander's in the zone, he might not beat him. Let me just try it one more time. But these S pose on the cut right there. See? And he got inside. So the S pose beats man. The two drags beat man. And then that other route beats man. And then the X, um, the tight end route on this play, he beats man as long as they shade coverage up. Which they're going to shade coverage up because if they don't shade coverage up, then it's a one play touchdown on this left side. Like that that's what's the beauty of this play is you've got these really easy reads within this concept. So... This play is a lot of fun. This is how I run mesh post um, out of this play. One little pro tip with this, um, and I didn't talk about this too much, but let's say you're getting, um, let's say you're getting a lot of blitzes, okay? Let's say you're getting a lot of blitzes. One of the things you're gonna find with this formation is if they try to blitz you, they're crazy. Um, and the reason why is because these two drags are wide open and it's easy 15, 20 yards. And they can't defend on either side either, which is really, um, I think I think just the hidden power of this formation and it's just taken me so long to get really good, good with this formation But it is a learning curve But when you go through the learning curve, it's so much fun because this drag to R1 We're talking like this again. This is with a user rush, right? Um, but if this if they if they come down and let's say they do something like that because again they have to user one of the drags, one of them. It doesn't have to be both, but one of them they have to take. So I'm just taking this one right here, and look how open that is. That's an easy 10 to 15 yards against pressure. Um, one other little thing that you can do, this is the last thing I want to say about this. Let's say that, and this is some a concept that you can do that's really good, especially if they're, if they're doing something like, if they give you this look right here, you're not going to do this, but if they give you this look where he's over here, now it's a lot more of an option. And basically all you're going to do is uh, just change who's on the curl and who's on the drag. So you see here triangles on the curl and square is on the drag. And I'm going to motion square to the outside. And you'll see that that 
will pull that zone up, and now I can top, I can just pepper um, the defense with the easy drag route right there. So it's still the same concept. I'm just changing who's on the drag and who's on the on the on the uh, on the curl. So, anyways, this formation is a lot of fun. Be sure to check it out in our True Fan membership. Um, seriously, if you want to have some fun, this thing is awesome. If you if I don't like, I hate running the ball. Um, I'm a passer. I don't like to run. I'm not really that good at it anymore uh, in Madden because I just my stick skills aren't the best. So if you want to pass the ball and you want to light up the scoreboard, this offense is for you. So thanks a lot for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video, and um, that's how you roll it. If you want to get the offense, it's in the description.